is there anybody here that is moving forward this month? If you're moving forward, just wave your hands to Jesus. The Bible says, He with the Son sets free. is free indeed. All things have passed away. And behold, all things have become new. This song is a very simple song. I'm very sure, maybe about people in church will know this song. From all that dwell below forward. the sky. Hallelujah. So let our together. Creator's praise Hallelujah. arise. We are and let our Redeemer's name be sung. Welcome through every land. Hallelujah. By every tongue. Weekly eternal are your mercies, Lord. And eternal truth attends thy word. My praise shall sound from shore to shore. Until the sun shall rise. And set no more. Testament book of Numbers, chapter 9, the word of the Lord. On the day the tabernacle, the tent of the covenant law, was set up, the cloud covered it from evening till morning. The cloud above the tabernacle looked like fire. That is how it continued to be. The cloud covered it, and at night it looked like fire. Whenever the cloud lifted from above the tent, the Israelites set out. Wherever the cloud settled, the Israelites encamped. At the Lord's command, the Israelites set out, and at his command, they encamped. Let us pray. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your Son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, Grant to us, who are born again by water and the Spirit, that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah Hometown Incorporated is an inspirational media firm that is operated and managed by Broadway Jubilee Corporations, commissioned for inspirational and motivational mass media, as well as the auxiliary of mass communication and faith-based media of the Holy Historically African and American Churches Corporation. Both corporations are headquartered in Nashville, Tennessee. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all of the earth keep silent before him. Thou whose almighty word chaos and darkness heard and took its flight. Hear us, we humbly pray, and where the gospel day sheds not its glorious ray, let there be light. This is the official broadcast of the Service of Word and Tape, headquartered in Nashville, Tennessee, Lagos, Nigeria, and Karachi, Pakistan. This is American clergyman and social justice activist, Benjamin Grant Lewis, IHS, DDS, JPN. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad.
Let us pray, Father God in heaven. I come to you as humbly as I know how to say thank you. Lord, I have arrived in your presence for no shape, form, or fashion, but to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise that is due your name. Lord, you have kept us blessed, saved, highly favored in a world that is filled with trouble, distress, war, God, you have vouched safe your entire church, kept us from all hurt, harm, and danger. Lord, you blessed our families. You blessed our homes. You fed us when we were hungry. You provided water when we were thirsty. You healed us when we were sick. And so, God, together we unite during this virtual worship opportunity to give you the praise. We humble our hearts before you. We bow down and we worship you because you are the only one um, who has kept us. Oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, we say thank you. Lord, I pray um, for our nation, the United States of America, and for those who have been positioned to lead us, especially for the President Joe and his wife Jill and all elected officials, um, both in Washington, D.C., on the state level and even on the local level. God, we pray for those who are a part of our armed forces, that you will bless them, that you will bless their families, that you will provide for those who have served our nation so well. Those veterans, God, provide for them, especially those who have found themselves in a position of homelessness. God, we pray for the 600,000 individuals who are homeless. We pray, God, that you will bless them, remembering what your son Jesus Christ said, in my father's house there are many mansions, and if it were not so, I would not have told you so. God, we pray for your church, uh, the bride of your son, Jesus Christ. Uh, we pray for the universal church, uh, that you will bless it in these end times. Bless all ministers and those who labor in the kingdom. Bless your missionaries. God, and we pray that this year we will reap a great harvest of new converts all over the world, running and saying, Lord, what must I do to be saved? God, we pray for those who are sick and shut in, those who are bereaved, those uh, who are in bondage. God, touch in a way that only you can touch. Lord, we pray for our youth and our children. Lord, touch them and anoint them so that they can be raised up as a generation that is called blessed. God, we say thank you for your darling son, Jesus Christ, who shed his blood and gave his only life, Lord, um, so that we can live. God, help us to be found worthy of his cross, of his crucifixion, of his resurrection. Father God, I pray that you will come now and bless this broadcast. Let it go throughout all of the world and inspire, and motivate, encourage, exhort, and as it goes out, let a healing go with it. Let your salvation go with it. God, bless this live stream, this recording. Lord, bless it, oh God, and let it go out seamlessly without flaw. Lord, so that somewhere, at some time, someone will say, Father, I believe. I give my life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And as they believe, God, pour out your Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In lieu of the announcements and upcoming events, I will be sharing the 2023 year at a glance. You know, so many elderly citizens in the African-American community um, suffer from dementia and Alzheimer's. Um, this year we will share information on how congregations and Christians um, can uh, be a light um, to that grandmother or grandfather who is experiencing that, how to recognize the early signs of dementia, and um, how to uh, minister in a holistic way uh, to the family. 
I want to say uh, thank you so much to um, Pastor Abid Masi in Karachi, uh, Pakistan. Uh, Pastor Abid Masi is a part of the Holy Historically African and American Church uh, Corporation, and um, he pastors the Winning Souls Ministries. Um, back in 2022, um, you witness as um, the Diocese of Pakistan uh, chose me, Benjamin Lewis, to serve as their presiding bishop. Um, it's an honor to serve those 25 congregations. During the um, first week of January, I had a video conference with Pastor Abid Masi, who you are viewing on the screen. In this conference, he shared of the need for everyone to give today. There are Christians who have recently converted from Hindu um, in the interior Sindh, located in Pakistan. Their homes have been devastated, and for only $5,000, shelters can be built that will house four to five people. Um, you can give by visiting the website, hallelujahhometowninc.square.site. Um, be sure to uh, subscribe and like um, the Winning Souls Ministries page on Facebook and on YouTube and uh, follow them in worship. They're doing a great job building the kingdom of God. The offertory appeal. You have heard me say uh, over and over again that our God is a God of salvation. He's a God of love and he's a God of revenue. God, my Lord and my heavenly father, I pray right now that you will touch the ear of the listener, uh, touch the eye of the viewer so that they will know that their financial contribution will be placed in good hands. It will be in the hands of the kingdom. Father, I pray now that you will bless the revenue of your church here on earth, the very church that your son Jesus Christ called his bride. And bless, Lord, the ministers who labor in your vineyard. Bless this. might give up on us, but God, amen, his steadfast love is still the same, don't give up on God because he won't give up on you, if you have your Bibles this morning, I ask that you will open with me to the book of Daniel, the book of Daniel, and we want to take a look this morning at the sixth chapter. Daniel, the sixth chapter, and taking a look at the 22nd verse. Daniel, the sixth chapter, and looking at the 22nd verse, and when you have found it, let it be known by saying, Amen. 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 Daniel, the sixth chapter. Reading verse 22. And thus reads the word of the Lord. My God sent his angel and he shut 
the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me because I was found innocent in his sight. Nor have I ever done any wrong before you. The word of God for the people of God. And everyone said, Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Father God, we come to you this afternoon saying thank you, God. We thank you, God, because we found out down throughout the years that you are an able God. You are omnipotent. You are omniscient. You are omnipresent, oh God, all-knowing, oh God, all-powerful, and in all places, God, at the same time, God. We thank you, God, for when we wanted to throw in the towel, God, you didn't give Give up on us, God. You didn't let us down, oh God, Lord, but we found ourselves safe, God, and satisfied in the arms of Jesus. Lord, we pray right now that you will come, Lord, and give us a word from on high this afternoon, God. Lord, a word of encouragement, a word of peace, a word of joy that will make someone want to run on and say, Lord, what I must I do to be saved, oh God. Lord, help somebody to want to run on God and say I'm going to see what the end is going to be and then God we ask that you will help us to remain humble and we'll be careful Lord Jesus that you get all the glory all of the honor and all the praise which belong to you and to you alone in Christ Jesus name I do pray with forgiveness of sins and all the saints of God said amen. amen. This morning I want to talk very briefly on the subject the power of a consistent faith. They are known as the 40 martyrs of Sebast in the famed 12th legion of Rome's imperial army. There were 40 soldiers who decided one day that they were going to profess their faith in Jesus Christ. One day, their captain informed them that the emperor Licinius had sent out a decree, an edict that commanded all of those who believed in Jesus Christ to be offered as a sacrifice to a pagan god. These Christians warriors said, you can have our armor. You can even have our bodies. But our hearts, allegiance, belongs to Jesus Christ. Can I get a witness this morning? Who can say that after the world has taken all, you can't have my joy because I got Jesus. And it was because of their stance that they were marched on to a frozen lake in the midwinter of A.D. 320. And they were stripped of all of their clothes. At any time, church, they could have renounced Christ and could be spared from death. But instead, they huddled close together. And began to sing their song of victory. Forty martyrs for Jesus Christ. That freezing night saw 39 men fall into their icy graves. And when there was but one man left, he stumbled to the shore and renounced Christ at the last minute. As the officer in charge of the guarding these men had listened to the singing, he too had secretly become a believer in Christ. And he immediately replaced the man who had renounced Jesus and he walked out onto the ice. He threw off his clothes and he confessed his faith in Christ. 
At sunrise, when morning came, the Roman soldiers found 40 men who gave their all for the cause of Christ. I wonder this morning, is there anybody here who wants to give your all for Jesus Christ? Uh, my late grandfather, Mr. Jesse Parker, used to sing a song that said, Lord, I'm running. I'm trying to make 100. 99 and a half uh, just won't do. Uh, can I get a witness this morning? Uh, anybody here trying to make a hundred and you can say that 95 won't do it, 96 won't do it, 97 won't do it, 98 won't do it, 99, 99 and a half. Uh, just won't do. Uh, when God has blessed us over and over again, I don't know about you, but I have to give him my all. Uh, can I get a witness this morning? Uh, see, those 40 brave men demonstrated a faith that was consistent. So does the man featured in our next text, Daniel, was a man who possessed a consistent faith. Daniel is a man who lived uh, this kind of consistent life all the days that he lived. As a young man, he was separated, as we find out in Daniel, the first chapter. As a middle-aged man, he was sold out, as we find out in Daniel, the fifth chapter. And even as an older man, he was surrendered, as we find out in Daniel, the sixth chapter. As we watch Daniel face and weather this great trial of faith, there are just a few lessons I would like to point out concerning the power of a consistent faith. What we can learn from Daniel teaches us that it is consistency that pays off. Friend, it isn't all about how you start the race, though that is very important, or how you finish the race, uh, even though that is also important. But God is interested in how we are running the race. Uh, he wants to know if we're going to run faithfully all the way. Uh, I want to stop right there and say that again. It's not how you start the race. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, amen. Some people know that sometimes in life we get a late start, don't we? Uh, some people got a late start on their job. Some people got a late start on their education. Some people even got a late start in the faith. They didn't grow up in the church. They didn't come to Sunday school. But thanks be to God, it doesn't no matter how you start the race uh, we find out that it does not even matter how you finish the race because Ecclesiastes tell us that the race is not given can I get a witness this morning to the swift nor, nor to the strong but the race is given to those who will endure uh, anybody here gonna endure uh, anybody here said that I started with Jesus uh, and I'm going through uh, can I get a witness this morning uh, thanks be to God it's not how we finish the race but God wants to know how you're running it uh, are you running it with your head held up are you running it with the cross in front of your eyes? Are you running it with Jesus down in your heart? Is there anybody here who can say I'm running uh, for my life? Uh, if anybody asks you uh, what's the matter with me? Uh, tell them I'm saved. Uh, I'm sanctified. Uh, I'm Holy Ghost filled. Uh, I'm water baptized. I got Jesus uh, on my mind uh, and I'm running for my life. Uh, isn't that good today uh, that there is power uh, in a consistent faith uh, somebody say that with me this morning uh, there is power in a consistent faith allow me to point out the lessons contained here first we see that a consistent faith will be tested 
This is a verse that is absolutely true. If you choose to live your life for Jesus, uh, holding nothing back, persecution will come your way. But this is not a bad thing. Notice what is accomplished when our faith is put to the test. Verse 3, we find out that the saint is cultivated. Let's look at verse 3 this morning. If you have your Bibles, Daniel 6 and 3 says, Now Daniel so distinguished himself among the administrators and the satraps by his exceptional qualities that the king planned to set him over the whole kingdom. We see here that Daniel was already a great man. And God wanted to develop him even further. See church, your trials are never meant to destroy you. They are only meant to grow you. Uh, can I get a witness this morning? Uh, anybody know Romans 8 and 28 says that all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Uh, verse 25 through 28 we find out that not only does our faith cultivate us, our trials cultivate us, but also the Savior is celebrated in a consistent faith. See, it is because of Daniel's trial that God received the glory and the honor. And as the trials of life come against you, and you stand faithful in spite of the trial, church, you better believe that God 